Welcome to Obsession Engineering and welcome to Donington Park. This was a late entry, so so far I only have an entry on the big bike for the Super Series Premier 1000 thing. Uh, I haven't done a test day because it's actually a track day and it was a couple of days ago and I was working. So it's straight into qualifying and it rained overnight and the floor's a little damp but it's dry enough that the dry should be fine. So fingers crossed for that. And as I was driving over I had this moment where so many little niggles in the back of your head and you think, I've forgotten something. There's something I haven't bought with me. And when I woke up this morning, I went, I know what it is. I've forgotten my breakfast cereal. Not the end of the world, I have flapjack. And then when I went to do scrutineering, I realised I'd actually left my leathers hanging in the wardrobe at home. So luckily, Paul Moore, Moore, Muir, I don't know. Paul's lent me a set of leathers, which fit surprisingly well. Kyron Ankins lent me a back protector, so we are good to go. The bike is warmed up, the tyre pressures are done. Just a few minutes before qualifying, let's go and have a go. Because this is two weeks before the BSB round here, it is a selection of BSB level riders. So uh, Aaron Silvestre, who's actually competition for me and Franco uh, in Stock 600s is here, so this is his uh, test session. Um, I quite like Aaron and I actually like, you know, secretly root from a little bit because it's actually got an engine in it that I did. So uh, good luck to Aaron. Uh, the stock, uh, the, sorry, the 1000cc grid that I'm on also has a selection of uh, super stock boys in it. So the pace is going to be fast, or at least at the front. Where I'm riding it might not be, but never mind, as long as we're having fun, that's all that matters. Are we, are we here to have fun, Aaron? Yes, of course, that's what it's all about. And, and get your pace up a little bit for BSP. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a warm-up, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it, for the meeting, so that's the idea. <laughs> Cracking! Cheers, dude. I will admit, rolling out for qualifying, I didn't feel especially confident. The session before us had been stopped twice with people falling off at the first corner, and that and the possibility of some damp patches do play on the mind a little bit. So I headed out, and I kept it nice and smooth, and realistically that meant I didn't really go very fast. I do, of course, have the full races excuse book at the ready. The tyres I'm on were actually put in for the second day at Snetterton, so they've done a whole day at Snetterton of reasonably long races, and then a meeting at Alton Park with Wirral 100, so they're probably not at their peak anymore. The rear is also a hard compound tyre, so it doesn't really give you that outright grip the softer ones give you anyway. It's also three weeks of TT, so I'm a little cautious in the back of my mind that turning a bike upside down at this stage would be a very bad idea, and most of the grid are either incredibly talented or incredibly talented and do the test day on the Thursday that I didn't do. So all in all, it might not add up to a brilliant performance. So that's qualifying done, and it's not my best performance, which I keep saying a lot this year. Uh, I was a little bit paranoid before we went out because the two the session before has got red flagged twice for people falling off at the first corner uh, and so we sort of assumed there might be some damp or something going on with the tarmac or something like that and so I went out being a little tentative about the corner there and the, um, especially the tarmac patches and stuff that might be holding some damp or the kerbs and that sort of stuff and of course that meant I wasn't riding tight I just wasn't riding fast and then once you've done a couple of laps and worked out actually it's fine to then add speed is actually quite awkward. If you go out and you're fast straight away, it's a lot easier to chip away at it. Um, so it wasn't a particularly good session. The super stock boys from British who were coming past me were making me look like a pedestrian, which is not very good. I remember when I was one of them and I used to do that to the club boys and now it's all flipped around a little bit. But I suppose we ought to look at the positives. Uh, the bike's in one piece because it's three weeks to do TT and it being not in one piece would be awkward right now. We are on the grid somewhere, uh, and it's Donington Park in the sunshine, which is, if I'm honest, a lovely place to be. So that's it. We shall take the positives and ignore the negatives a little bit. I will be on the grid somewhere, and I'm sure I'll thoroughly enjoy riding around. So next up, after some more practice session stuff, will be the race. Between the sessions, I've done a few little bits with the bike. The most important one is I've put petrol in it. So I drained the tank out of it, worked out how much fuel I'd use in that session, and because I have a data book with year, low, like years of data, 
uh, I know how much fuel I use around here and I use about 0.55 litres a lap. So I've worked out we've got a 12 lap race this afternoon with a warm up lap and an in lap, so you need enough fuel for that and you need a couple of litres spare, so I've put enough petrol in the bike, so that's the important thing. Tire pressure gauge because a few minutes before the race I'll recheck, recheck pressures because I always do them hot, but because the ambient is changing, that will change the pressures a little bit and I will go a little bit lower for the race to generate a touch more grip. The rest of the bike, because I am currently four seconds off what I have done around here in, in the past, I'm not going to adjust the bike because I'm happy that it's not the bike that is going slowly today. So far it is me. It is ready to go. I've got about an hour still to wait because there's the last qualifying session is on track at the moment then there's a couple of races and then me so I get 12 lap race today and tomorrow I get two 14 lap races which is good stuff and there might even be a twin by then as well fingers crossed right put my feet up for a bit it's not long to go now until my first race uh, the race before mine is on track and they've got about six or seven laps to go um, I've got my book of excuses at the ready these leathers feel a little unusual. Uh, it's not a very good excuse, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, I have new boots on. I have my new TT latest CE approval type boots. They take a little bit of breaking in, but they're actually okay. And after a couple laps, you don't notice. Uh, what are my other excuses? Uh, done the tyre thing earlier, Anna. Uh, bugger. Not really got any excuses. Ah, bad night's sleep. That's always a good excuse. Turns out, jet liners covered in full of freight going over your van at 4 o'clock in the morning don't aid a good night's sleep, so that's a good excuse. We'll have that one in the bank. Uh, no, no, I'm out of excuses, which means I really ought to go and put my finger out. So I'm 35th on the grid. I've gone four seconds lap quicker than that round here. There is really no more excuses, so I need to put my helmet on, go as fast as I can, which should be good fun. I get a decent launch and then it's decision time and I'm going to the inside because that's the safest place. If you go around the outside you might be able to ride around people, but if anything goes wrong you are going to get collected. So I've gone for the inside and it works out reasonably well. first lap is okay, but it's not particularly aggressive and I end up basically back where I started on the grid. It's all good fun dicing with the lads, but unfortunately then we get red flagged for an incident, so we have to do it all over again. I get another good start, go up the inside again for safety, and then it elbows out and jolly good fun. It's not my best performance and I'm struggling a little bit still with my lap time, but I do at least manage to mug Dave Jackson over the line, admittedly because he's showboating. Uh, that was, it was good fun. Um, we got red flagged sort of about a third of the way through or whatever, so it's a bit disjointed. Um, and I thought I'd go a little bit quicker than that. Uh, just never, never quite got the flow to run the corner speed I wanted. Um, and some of that comes from rear grip because when you turn in it's just there's always that slight feeling that there's not quite the grip you want so you don't want to push any harder uh, so it turns out the hard compound tyre that's now three meetings old might be past its best if I'd have gone for a two compound I'm sure I'd have had loads more grip just considerably less longevity um, so let's go and have a look right so this is the side of the tyre that's doing you know, most of the work, because the big exit round coppice and round the first corner and places. And as you can see, it looks really, really clean because it's a hard compound one. 
Uh, there is quite a lot of rubber rolling off it though, so there's a uh, big old sort of lumpy bits of rubber, so um, we can get rid of that. So it is saving weight. So the rubber is sort of rolling off it and disappearing. It just doesn't really feel like it's sort of gripping into the tarmac, so then I'm a, a little bit tentative with it everywhere. Um, and when it does slide, it's sort of nice and controlled. It doesn't do anything particularly unpleasant, but it's a little bit like the first tap of the throttle. Um, it just sort of just has that little slide, and then it sort of settles in, and then it's all right. So I'm going to do a couple of little bits. I'm going to lower a little bit of rear ride height. When I first took the throttle, the chain pushes the tyre away like that. And so that should dig it into the tarmac, but on this tyre it doesn't. It just sort of makes it slide across the tarmac. So if I reduce the rear ride height, it will reduce how severe that sort of push is from the, uh, from the chain. And it just settle the tyre down a little bit. So that is going to be the plan. I am going to run my other tyre tomorrow which is the same compound but new, so it should be a bit better. A little bit of ride art out of the rear and we should be pretty good. It is Sunday morning and I am wearing my own leathers. I went home yesterday afternoon and I got my leather so now I'm comfortable I feel even more protected. So this is a good thing. I still forgot my breakfast cereal but that's not really a big problem. Right, into the garage. I've got the Super Twin out in the hope that I'd get a race on that, but I can't because there's a reserve list and not enough people broke down or fell off yesterday. So unfortunately, that's not going out. The big bike is ready to go out. I did a little bit of soul searching on my drive to and from yesterday, and I've sat down and looked through the data, and now for some bits where we look at some screenshots. I decided to skip the guesswork and actually get the data on the go. The red line is one of my qualifying laps from today, and the blue line is one of my better laps from Donington Park. The top line is lean angle, and as you can see, it's relatively similar in most places, but especially on the uh, left-hander down Craner is definitely leaning, running more lean angle, and again at Schwarzkur through the left, but in general I'm running similar amounts of lean angle. The middle set of lines are speed, and this is where the difference really shows up. So even down the start-finish straight, I hold the throttle open for longer and then actually decelerate faster. So even though I thought my braking was good today, it's not as good as I can do. The real teller then is that the run all the way down Craner Curves on this blue line here is considerably quicker than I was doing today. And then it is again through Swatch Curve and everything, and then at McLean's, and then at Coppice onto the back straight, and basically everywhere. I can tell from that I need to go faster, carry more corner speed, and I can actually brake later. The bottom set of lines are throttle, and again this shows us where the blue lines are differing from the red lines, and it's places like here, and here, and here, and here, where I'm basically just opening the throttle longer and staying on the throttle longer. So that is basically the trick I need to do, is I need to go faster. Pretty simple really. Back in the room! I'm going to go out for morning warm-up and I've not changed anything from yesterday. I've left the same tyre in and I've not changed any suspension setup because I've decided, looking at the data, that I'm that far off where I should be that there's no point me chasing sort of tenths of seconds in setup when I'm big chunks of seconds off. So in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that, uh, but for the races I have a fresh rear tyre already warming up in the warmer. The Aprilia is out of the van, even though I can't race it today, but there are a couple of upgrades, and the most obvious one is we now have the big TT tank on, and it's got paint on it. So this is the fuel tank that Alan made us, and it's lovely. Um, it is actually quite a lot lower than the standard tank, but a little bit longer. But because I'm quite long, that bit's okay, and it means that I can actually get tucked further down because I've not got the lump in the tank getting in the way of my chest. So now I can get really, really behind the screen, which is really, really good. Um, I might trim a bit more of this off because we don't need this bit anymore. Uh, I've put some stomp grips on it so that over the jumps and stuff at TT I can grip hold of the tank with my knees. So that's a bonus. So that looks good and it should feel good but I'm actually going to have to just go to a track day and do a few laps with it and just get used to it. Then the other thing, we finally actually have some spare wheels. Um, so I'm going to go and get a front wheel powder coated black. But we have got some Brembo HPK discs. Now we've actually had these for ages, we just didn't get around to fitting them yet. So they're on, but I need to go and scrub them in, but again, not today, that is a job for Cadwell. So that is the twin that we're not racing, 
So it's sort of irrelevant that I'm even talking about it. About 10 minutes to go until morning warp on the big bike. I'm going to go around on that, have some fun, and then I've got two 14 lap races and I'm going to go as fast as I can and thoroughly enjoy myself. Or at least that's the plan. I spent morning warm up trying to clean up my lines, making sure I got a nice late apex, getting the throttle open and using as much exit drive as I could, and then it was into the first race, which I may have forgotten to record. So this is actually footage from yesterday. That is first race of Sunday done. Uh, 14 laps, which might have actually been 13, because I might have got uh, lapped by the lads at the front, but they are front-running superstar British lads, so I'm not too concerned about that. The big thing is, new tyre makes a load of difference, having a good night's sleep makes a load of difference. Uh, that was a second and a half quicker, but consistently a second and a half quicker pretty much all the time. Uh, and I was going forwards, decent start, mugged a couple of people off the start or into the first corner, and then just chipped away and uh, got past a couple of people during the race as well. They had a little fight back and uh, Stockdale, can't remember his first name, Stockers, he kept trying to come past and it was a bit of a laugh with him so that was good fun um, and yeah just thoroughly enjoyed riding around the lovely sort of Leicestershire yeah Leicestershire countryside in the sunshine lovely day out going faster helps as well so there is still a little bit of a lack of rear grip and that's partly because I am on a hard tyre and partly because I think I've got a little bit more ride out in the rear than I need so I'm just going to take tiny bit out not a lot I'm only going to take a mill out of the shock and hopefully that will just get it to sit on the tire a little bit more and just give it a tiny bit more grip uh, and then I should be able to pull a little bit more lap time out as well so if I can do that if I can get well if I can get within a second of what I've done on softer tires I think that'll be a reasonable uh, reasonable day really so that's the plan a little bit of ride height change put petrol back in it take me uh, leathers off because it's a good few hours till I'm out again and then try and go even faster so the race before mine is on track so I keep an eye on the TSL live timing app so I know that we've got 10 minutes or so before I'm out uh, I have been for my pre-race ritual sit down the bike is ready it's been warmed up I've checked my tyre pressures I put fuel and bits in it earlier I've had a very relaxing several hours since our last race because we only get two races today all the other classes get three but shorter races we get two long ones which suits me because i like a long race i think i'm ready i am still awake i've had sugary things to drink and i'm good to go let's see if we can rattle a bit more for lap time wrap last race of the weekend and a few people have gone home so even though i've gone forward on the grid there's not many people behind me but I still get a decent start, but this time I have to go round the outside of the first corner and I'm not taking too much risk. But I'm on form a little bit quicker than normal, so I'm chasing down the pack, which you can't see. Over the start finish line, I've had a good run out of the last chicane, so I'm going to try up the inside against somebody. And it works pretty well. I've just lost touch with the group in front, but I can hear the bike behind me everywhere. I know he's on my tail, but all I'm doing now is I'm chipping away. I'm keeping as smooth as I can, trying to keep consistent, just enjoying being on the bike. And to be fair, riding around on the bike in the sunshine is not a bad place to be. My fastest lap is almost exactly the same as what I did this morning, but I'm doing it much more consistently. This is a good thing. And then a couple of the super stock 1000 BSB boys come through, and it's impressive to watch. Those boys are on it. A whole position till the end of the race, the bike's feeling good, and I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. just finished my second race of the day the third of the weekend and that's it that is all my racing done and that was great fun uh, I was 31st on the grid don't laugh at the back um, and that put me on the pit wall side and what I've been trying to do is go up the inside into the first corner because that's the safer place to be because if 
you're on the outside, if anything goes wrong, it collects you. If you're on the inside, you can do the collecting instead. Um, and I find that better. Um, and especially because I've been trying to keep out of trouble this weekend. Uh, I didn't have a lot of choice in that one, so it was a bit sort of round the outside and I didn't take too much risk. But I got a reasonable start, a reasonable first corner, got a reasonable first lap or two uh, and was on pace fairly quickly for me, so that was uh, pretty good. Um, and then just only really had to dice with one person. Um, got past him and I could hear him behind me for, well, quite a lot of the race, if I'm honest. I think he might have been behind me right at the line. Um, and then the last couple of laps, the front-running BSB stock lads, they come through and they are on a different level. Um, just the commitment into corner entry and picking us all up and everywhere. And they're, what you notice is they're smooth. There's nothing ragged, the bikes aren't out of shape, it's just smooth, but it's using it's using all the tarmac, quite a lot of the curbs in places, but they're just on it everywhere. It's just there's so much commitment and so much lean angle onto the front. It's you know, it's inspirational to watch and ever so slightly disappointed that I'm not following them. Um, but no, I did really enjoy that race. Just It was nice to get mostly clear track, concentrate my lines. I tried different gears in a couple of places that didn't really work. Uh, and I think the lap time was within probably point one of what I did earlier. Um, and I just just didn't chip that extra little bit away. But the bike felt meant everything's in one piece. There's a plane going over my head. That was good fun. That was the sort of event I needed. I just needed some good, solid track time, some decent length races, and I'm happy. So the next thing to do is take this one home. This one's getting TT prep. The 660 needs riding again. But yeah, we're looking pretty good. So that's it from Donington Park. I'm going to go and get an ice cream when my bike cools down. Thank you for watching, and join me again next time for some more motorbike fun.